Well, severe weather can pop up with little warning, putting people on the water into some serious situations. Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary joins us live tonight in Summit County. And Jamie, recovery teams were out training on Lake Dillon over the past two days. They were, and this training, Karen, could not have come at a better time. Colorado Parks and Wildlife, along with the Summit County Sheriff's Office, were in the process of rescue and recovery training day one yesterday when a microburst hit. Officials described conditions here on Lake Dillon as ocean-like with winds up to 55 miles per hour. These two agencies together provide a powerful rescue tool for the state, and again, it could not have come at a better time. And it just devastated anybody on the lake. Having CPW here, it was awesome. You guys head this way. You guys go this way. Jim Hawkins with CPW and Kevin Kelbo with the Summit County Sheriff's Office were among those training on Lake Dillon Tuesday when the microburst hit. We had sailboats in distress. We had swamp kayaks, swamp paddlers. Wednesday, things were calmer and we were able to catch their training firsthand. Typically, it's recovery focused. Last year, we had our deadliest uh, year. We had 34 drownings uh, statewide, and then this year, we've actually had 10 drownings. So far, that number is higher than normal, and CPW is training to find those victims with drones and sonar. And you can see we've got a, a shadow, some legs. Fortunately, this isn't real, but Tuesday, they thought they may have to use it. No injuries yesterday, but we dodged some bullets. Everyone managed to make it to land or an island like Mo Herbert. The boat was getting knocked over. We met him just after the microburst, still shaken. And we just headed for the far end of the lake and we put on our life jackets. Herbert and his crew managed to swim to shore and it wasn't long before Kelbel came with a tow. Together, CPW and the Sheriff's Office rescued more than 30 people Tuesday and towed dozens of boats back to land. It was an intense storm. These two agencies have trained together for years doing recovery missions like this, and they say they're ready to deploy anywhere in the state if asked to help. Reporting live in Summit County, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. All right.